Hi everyone. So in the ARRL book, there is a chapter 9.3 on short vertical base loading antennas. And that particular antenna is interesting to me because I'm trying to find 40 meters. I'm trying to find an efficient 40 meter antenna. That's not very long, right? A quarter wave ground plane antenna for 40 meters the radiating element is going to be, oh, a little more than 32, 33 feet tall, which is a little bit hard to throw a weight over a branch. And of course, if you use, um, if you compromise it in any way, it's not gonna be efficient. Sure, you can do it as an L shape um, um, configuration. And I haven't really tried that. I did once and it didn't really work out very well. But I've just created a, an antenna that might work. And so right here, I have uh, some radials that are um, one eighth of a wavelength in 40. And actually the, um, the way I cut this um, was for 7.200 uh, megahertz. So we're gonna look at the SWR pretty soon and see if we match that. We have uh, 17 feet is the length of the antenna completely. The coil uh, has 16.3 microhenries uh, with a 0 0.08 diameter wire, uh, 14 gauge wire that's multi-stranded, I think, or tiny little copper wires, right? Uh, thin copper wires. Now, I did some of the calculations for the coil um, because I didn't know anything about 14 gauge wire, but uh, I do have my regression line, uh, meaning I took a lot of samples. I don't think it's here. I took a bunch of samples, which might be here. Um, yeah, see, 24 turns. I got 25.2 microhenries. You see, you can take small, you know, can take pieces of wire, turn it around and check the microhenries. And if you have enough samples, you can create the best straight line. Uh, in this case for two pipe, 14 gauge wire. And this is my regression, meaning this formula, if I pop in some values, I can get um, how many turns I would need, or how, in this case, how many feet. So I need 13.51 feet uh, to get a 16.3 uh, microhenries. Okay, that's enough math there, right? Uh, but it's very interesting how uh, this works. Reading chapter 9 in the ARRL handbook on antennas, it says that you can put um, smaller radials for, you know, a very long radiating antennas, like 40, like a 40 meter quarter wave radiating antenna you don't need quarter wave ground plane wires or radials you can use um an eighth but you need to have one full um wave let me you got if you're gonna do one eighth of one eighth of radials for 40 you need one full wavelength of wire on the ground um which i don't i only have uh six eights so i'm missing two eights i'm missing two eights or yeah i'm missing two eights or two radios in this design that i'm going to show you right now and of course you can always rewind the video and be like what did, what did he just say and hopefully i was pretty clear on that uh same design as i've been having all this time where i have a bnc banana um adapter and then i have six radials uh going all the way across um this is lifted up at least oh two feet two and a half feet and then you have the radiating element just like in the picture and there's my coil. Look at that. Not bad. 
and then that is attached to a wire to a line to like a uh it's an arborist type of wire and then the weight the weight the counterweight is only 10 ounces and it's doing a good job sometimes i can put the weight on the ground give it more friction and it won't drop crazy thing about these uh bnc banana bnc adapters you can put easily 14 gauge wire you can put six of them and you can also use the banana plugs here you can solder those there uh, and then you can also use them here on the bottom or on the top uh, it's very important that uh, red for the center pin and you're using the red um, wire for radiating sometimes you figure you're, you can't figure out which side you you if you lose the plugs which one is positive and which one's negative over here on this little tab right here that tells you that's the negative side but anyway you have your coax over here let's look at the swr i know swr doesn't tell you too much but that's all i got uh it's gonna tell me something remember it's cut for 7.200 and what do we got we have an swr of 7.08 megahertz with an swr 1.3 not bad it's telling me it's a bit too long and it probably is at 7.2 which is oh let's say there 7.2 megahertz we have a 1.9 swr which is acceptable i mean anything below two is acceptable and then let's look at uh, the all parameters and then let's look at uh, let's look at what do we got for uh for the impedance uh seven two zero zero uh, enter okay ah look at that swr of 1.9 and the uh, impedance of 42.8 not bad we have a return loss of 10 10 point three nine and that's um better than my cha impasse light <laughs> in terms of uh of returns now at home you know it's uh, below three here i'm definitely be below three swr so that's not bad at all and the q uh, for this as you can see is a pretty wide range i mean if we're looking at 2.0 right let's see here here's a let's say a two we have a 6.9 to 7.2 not bad that's a that's pretty long that's uh that's almost uh point two let me see almost point three um megahertz in uh width which is pretty wide for the antenna okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try it out we're going to put it on the radio i'm not going to use a um a tuner i could maybe lower it down a little more or go and drop the antenna down and maybe uh, make it a little bit shorter but uh, i'm curious right now to see um how it's operating with the ic705 all right let's try it okay i just connected the antenna uh this is happening look at this wow that's a lot of activity i'm wondering if there's a contest look at the digital digital is really happening there isn't that some very strong signals and so what we're going to do is we're going to use hammers have you ever used hammers before this is a really nice piece of software it's still under development but it's um kicking butt this is a ipad here an ipad mini um and i think this is one of the first to, well actually it's not the first but well actually one of the first great uh loggers uh for the ipad okay so we're going to try to see if we can get any contacts right now and then we'll we'll see if um if they uh hear us uh, with 10 watts by the way
<laughs> roger, roger. I got you 5-6 into California. Thanks a lot for hunting. 73. 73. Have fun, guys. We're having lots of fun, but it is getting cold and dark. This is Kilo Juliet 6 Echo Romeo at Porta Park Kilo 3473. QRZ. Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar Portable. Okay, okay we're going to work all you guys. Whiskey Charlie Station. Whiskey Charlie, go ahead. Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar Portable. Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar Stroke. Mm, we got you about a 5-5. Five, 5-5 five. Five, five into Kilo 3473. QSL. QSO, you're about a 5-5, five, 5-5 five, five, five over here in Southern California. Roger, roger. We'll take the 5-5, five, five, the double nickels into SoCal, and I have a second operator for double under credit. Stand by. Roger that. Yeah, Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. This is Kilo Golf 6 Uniform Oscar. QSO? QSO, QSO, you're also about a 5-5 five, five over here in Los Angeles, California with 10 watts. Roger, roger. It's fine business on the 10 watts and you're in the 5.5 five in the Southern California. Uh, thanks for hunting. 73. Thank you. Good luck. This is Kilo. Whoa. Julian Sick, Romeo. Not bad. For right? Uh, for a 5.5? Five five? Yes, I know it's in California and I'm over here in Southern California, but I think they're in Northern California. Uh, let's see. They are at this park here. And I'm going to fill that out. Definitely. Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar Portable. Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar Portable. Is that Whiskey Five Zulu Oscar? Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. Oscar, uh, you are 5 and 3, 53, 5, 6, 3, 6, 1, 8, QSO. QSO, QSO, you're about a 5, 5, 5, 5 here in Los Angeles. QSO, a 5, 5, you're uh, so thanks for dropping by, 73. Thank you, bye-bye. So, band is still happening, uh, but for whatever reason, it's not as loud and that and that has to do a lot with the you know the propagation um and it's probably adjusting itself now that it's becoming more evening um, but you can still see the digital is really happening and there's a lot of people speaking so we had four contacts so far and uh it looks like we've had these contacts Oh, I would say in the last 15, 20 minutes. Uh, so we got uh, somebody in Oregon and British Columbia, um, California, two California ones. Not bad for a, a shortened vertical base uh, loading antenna that uh, has five, no, six, uh, six. 16 and a half foot long um, counterpoises.